everybody's well. I am just finishing up an event for the YMCA today. I um, did this event a couple of years ago, um, several times actually, and so um, I was so excited they asked me to come back um, this year, and so I am um, just leaving that place, and it's really, really awesome. Um, we were honoring, it's called the uh, Arthur Happy Kennedy um, Prayer Breakfast, and it's uh, a, a prayer breakfast uh, honoring um, a, a civic leader here in Orlando uh, from years ago uh, that um, just made such a great impact on our city, and they do that in commemor commemoration of Martin Luther King Day, and so uh, I had a chance to sing and lead in some good praise and worship this morning, Earl T this morning, I have to get up at dark o'clock, <laughs> so at any rate, I'm on my way home, but I knew that we were coming close to the time where I was supposed to be meeting with you guys, and um, I'm in my truck right now, so that's why I, you see me sitting here at the gas station, but it's cool, <laughs> Dollar seventy four gas. It's fifty three degrees here in Orlando. I'm not really happy about it, but I have my trusty scarf. So of course I don't have my piano. So I'm not going to do too much singing, which I'd already planned that yesterday. I love you, Dion. I missed you this weekend, but I didn't um, plan on doing any singing today on today's vocal scope, um, just because my vocal cords are like shreds today. Um, yesterday during service, it just really kind of started going out. My whole choir is, they're fighting some bug. I have so many people that are sick, um, including myself. And I got went home yesterday and put my, my essential oils on my feet and was drinking my oils and just diffusing them. So it is the season to use our oils. I know. I'm not complaining. Trust me, I am not complaining. Hey, Dominique. <laughs> um, so yeah, I'm not complaining, just, you know, Florida, Florida weather, I, that's why I'm here. <laughs> but at any rate, um, so I, I wanted to share with you, since I'm in such bad voicing today, um, hey, from Alabama, how are you? Um, I want to share with you about 10 vocal health tips, that's what I wanted to share with you today. Hey, Melissa, I hope you're feeling better. <laughs> so, um, so get you a pen and a piece of paper, same here, it is that's my daughter, OMG Bubbly. That's my little girl. She's not a little girl. She's 21. She's in college at Stetson. Um, so at any rate, I'm going to give you um, some tips. And feel free to ask any questions along the way, okay? So here we go. Number one, do not shout. Tip number one, do not shout. And what was I doing all day at service? Shout and hollering, hey, from Wiggins, Mississippi. I was shouting because God is good. And that's what I was doing yesterday, was shouting and shouting and shouting. And Friday night, I was singing at a, an event here called Encounter Florida with my friend Poochie Colon. Thank you. Poochie Colon. And we had an Encounter Florida at his church where it was a night of worship with uh, several worship leaders from Orlando and some folks uh, in the choir there. And uh, it was amazing. But I shouted all Friday night and I shouted Sunday morning. And then I had this bug trying to get me. And hi from Birmingham, Allen, uh, uh, England. Not Birmingham. It's Birmingham. That's the way that they say it there. Um, it was an incredible night. Hey, Cherie. Um, so, yeah, number one, do not shout. Okay? That also includes loud laughing. So if you're out with your friends and you're having a good time, be aware of how you are laughing and how you're communicating with your friends. So no shouting, talking loud, loud laughter. Tip, that's tip number one. Number two, warm up often. Warm up often. Hi from Ohio. O-H. I-O. My husband's from Ohio. He taught me that. Can y'all hear me okay? You're hearing me all right? Um, warm up often. So every time you know you're going to sing, there you go. <laughs> uh, every time you know you're going to sing, make sure that you're warming up, that you take some time to do some humming and then some lip trills. Um to just get your voice prepared to be used that day. Warm-up is essential. It's so very, very important. Um, la uh, number three, rest your voice often. Rest. You have to rest your voice.
voice. Rest your voice often. That's number three. Okay. Dominique, thank you so much for doing these. I really appreciate you. Um, health tip number three, rest your voice often. Um, you, you know, you only have one pair of vocal cords. And, you know, most musicians, they can say, hi, from Arkansas. Um, they can take their instrument to be tuned. They can take their, you know, get by new strings. Thank you. I appreciate it. Um, you know, they can take their instrument to get touch-ups and things like that, but you can't do that with your voice. It stays in your body. It stays with you all the time. So the only way that you can truly recover from, um, you know, from a rough time of singing is to rest. And even if you haven't had a rough time of singing, resting your voice is essential. It's key to maintaining uh, lifelong, to have a lifelong healthy um, singing career. Okay, so whether you're doing it professionally or not, you just want to make sure that you are resting your voice often. That's tip number three. Rest your voice often. Number four, resist the urge to clear your throat. <laughs> we only have one set, that's all. Resist, your, resist the urge to clear your throat. Now, you may have a tickle in your throat. <clears throat> you may have a lot of mucus and phlegm in your throat. Thank you. You may have a lot of stuff in there that's going on, even from acid reflux. It makes you feel just that tingling. And you know, we all, we want to just go, ahem, ahem. I have one singer who does that all the time. And I promise it's like nails on a chalkboard for me because I know it's like doing, it's wreaking havoc on your havoc on her vocal cords. So resist the urge to clear your throat often. If you've got stuff in there and you need to get it out of the way, do what, uh, it's like a forced H sound. So do that. You just go, right? But then just make, add a little bit more power behind it, squeezing your, your, your muscles tighter and go, so it's like a, I don't know if you can hear that. Then that just kind of moves them out of the way instead of like grinding your, your vocal cords together. If you need to clear your throat, do that as an option as opposed to, um, that, oh, I'm sorry, they're, they're gonna, I am Dean Reynolds, they're listing the, the, um, the tips on the screen for you, I hope that you get some audio soon, so resist the urge to clear your throat, do the alternative of that forced H sound, <sighs> okay, all right, your next tip, number five, limit your dairy intake or late night eating, hi, Limit your dairy intake or late night eating. Try not to eat late at night and limit your dairy intake. I don't drink milk. I try not to do milk. Well, I don't drink milk at all. Um, and I, um, yeah, dairy. I don't drink milk. So, you know, I may do some cheese here and there, but the dairy can cause the mucus to build up on your vocal cords, which will limit your um, effectiveness in your singing. And the late night eating is bad because it can cause acid reflux. Acid reflux, a lot of times people don't realize that acid is just eating away. Yep. It just eats away. The acid just continues to eat away at your vocal cords. My sister, she, right around that time when, um, I forgot what disease <laughs> that was that was going around, where people were coughing and sneezing and stuff all over that place, all over the place, people were just coughing, coughing, and getting sick and stuff. She had that, and um, it's okay. And um, she started coughing. She would cough all the time, and, you know, people would just kind of look at her like, get this lady, give her a mask or something. But turns out she had asthma. It wasn't, e maybe it was Ebola. I don't remember. It was like a year or so ago. It may have been Ebola. But she was coughing, 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 went to the doctor, found out that she had acid reflux. And the acid had caused, like, corrosion in her vocal cords, which made her cough. So anytime she was coughing, it was because of the, the irritation of her vocal cords uh, that came from the acid. So I'm saying that to say be aware of what you're eating and whether or not it's causing any type of acid reflux and any type of late-night eating. Try, try to avoid that because it can also... You know, if you don't digest your food properly, it could cause acid to come back up in your throat and burn away at your vocal cords, okay? So 
So we are doing health tips, vocal health tips. That was, I think, number five, limit your dairy intake and uh, late night eating. Number six, this is interesting, avoid whispering. Avoid whispering to try to preserve your voice. Sometimes we'll just we'll start talking soft, don't try to whisper, you know. But when you whisper, whether you realize it or not, your vocal cords are actually working harder than they would if you were just talking a softer tone. So whispering is actually worse than just not uh, than than just talking in a softer tone. So if you are you know you've got laryngitis, you've lost your voice, just don't talk at all. Avoid whispering at all costs. Um, get a notepad and just start writing stuff down. Go to texting. You know don't so. Avoid whispering because it makes your vocal cords work even harder. It would be almost like if you were shouting and talking loud, okay? Because the same amount of energy, the same amount of um, breath, the same amount of force you're using, you're not, you're just not adding sound to it, okay? Does that make sense? So we're avoiding uh, whispering. Um, number seven, and I'm glad this is one because I am thirsty. Drink lots of water, lots of water. All right, that was good. Drink lots of water. You want to stay hydrated. And, you know, if you wait until you are singing to drink water, you are just only adding moisture, you know, to the inside of your mouth. There's nothing. It's not doing anything to your vocal cords. It's not hydrating your vocal cords. What, hydration comes from late, early on drinking. You've got to drink lots of water to get your vocal cords hydrated. Um, you know, you want to stay Drinking water, of course, you know, it's good anyway, but it just keeps you, you're moist, it keeps your vocal cords moist and keeps them hydrated if you drink water on a continual basis. So drink lots and lots of water. I found that um, if I have a cup with a straw, that makes, that's easier for me to drink more often. Um, and room temperature water, especially after you've warmed up. If you've done your vocal warm-ups and you've got an option to have cold water or room temperature water, go with the room temperature water because the cold water will shock your vocal cords back to where you had them before you warmed up. Okay? So, yes, you want to drink room temperature water over cold water. Okay? All right. And number eight, I think. We're at number eight. Hmm. Oh, oh, oh. I missed that. I'm sorry. Your praise leader gives you... Something, something, something. Can you say that again? I won't look away. I'll wait for you to repost that question. Did y'all hear that? I just kind of cleared my throat a little bit, but I just went. <clears throat> Remember, don't clear your throat. I'm waiting for that question to pop back up. She gives us hauls. And no, menthol, no halls because of the menthol. It, it, the menthol that's in there will totally strip away all of the mucus. And some mucus is good, you know, on your vocal cords because it just lets them be slippery and um, helps them to vibrate faster and easier. So you don't want to get rid of all the mucus um, on your cold. So another, uh, a good, yeah. So they messed up their vocal cords. So if you need a throat lozenge, I would go with um, something that has pectin in it. P-E-C. I got it, Angela. It messed them up. <laughs> um, but you want a throat drop that has pectin, and it's spelled P-E-C-T-I-N. Pectin as the main ingredient. Pectin. P-E-C-T-I-N as the main ingredient. And some, uh, like Ricola is pretty good. Uh, my favorite throw is fruit breezers. Fruit, what does that, what does the mystery mean? I'm going to get to that. Yeah, pectin. Thank you, Dominic. Um, pectin, you want a throat drop that has it. Fruit breezers are really, really, really good because that's, um, it, it has pectin in it. Um, and I think Halls makes fruit breezers, but go for fruit breezers um, and get the, get the kind that's red and white. That's the main, mainly the white. <laughs> color because so you don't keep seeing that red on your tongue <laughs> if you get the one that's like i think it's strawberries and cream or something like that then you don't have a red tongue when you're singing i'm 
I'm just, that's just the LOL thing from me. <laughs> All right, so fruit breezers are a good uh, throat lozenge instead of the halls, okay? All right, um, the person that asked about the steamer or humidifier, use a steamer or humidifier at night. Vocal cords vibrate faster when they are not dry. So the humidifier and the steam adds moisture to your vocal cords. Um, if you don't have a, a steamer, you can just get some hot, hot, hot water and very, very carefully with a towel over your head, um, you know, just stand over that hot water and then just allow the, just breathe in the vapors, breathe in the, the steam, and it just adds moisture to your, to your vocal cords. So that's the reason, that's the benefit of using a humidifier or steamer, humidifier at night or a steamer before you have to sing. They have these face steamers that cover your nose and mouth like that. And you can um, just breathe that in, and, uh, and it's beneficial in that respect. Yep. I'm so glad. I'm giving you stuff you didn't know. That's really awesome. Praise the Lord. All right. And one, uh, two more, three more, three more. Okay, so I think I have more than ten. Um, I lost count, Dominique. I'm sorry. This is, this one says, avoid caffeine. Okay, this one is number eight. Avoid, is it number eight? Avoid caffeine. Avoid caffeine. And the reason why you want to avoid caffeine is because caffeine is a diuretic. You know, you always have to go to the bathroom after you drink coffee. Hello. <laughs> um, and so you want to avoid caffeine because uh, caffeine, it dries you out. Yeah. But, you know, you just, you listen, I am a ca caffeine-aholic. I need my caffeine to just put it in my veins you know we're anytime you're on a fast and we got let go of the caffeine I'm like God help me and help all that are around me for those first couple of days <laughs> um, but it does because the caffeine dries you um, a caffeine any it's a diuretic and so it takes the water away from your body okay um, if you are drinking ca coffee or any type of um, caffeine you got to make sure um, it, you know, it says decaf coffee, but there's still a little bit amount of caffeine in the coffee. But again, you know, coffee, if you're drinking coffee, it has, you're going to use the creamer. So if you, if you have to have your coffee, you got to make sure that you're doubling up with your water and that you have prepared your body first before, uh, oh, they're saying how to Angela. Sorry, I didn't mean to jump in on y'all's conversation, poetic songs. <laughs> um, anyway, um, yeah, if, you, if you're going to have coffee, just make sure that you prepare your body for that by drinking water and just stocking up on your water intake first, okay? Um, so have your coffee, but just make sure that you are drinking your water. Again, avoid caffeine if you can. If not, just make sure that you are doubling up with your water. Sorry I entered late, but these tips are for ministering. It's, you know what, it's for anyone who, who uses their voice, whether you're singing or um, you're speaking, you're teaching, if you use your vocal cords for your job, anything, you know, it's, it, this is voice care, voice, vocal health tips, that's what we're doing. Yeah, vocal health tips. Um, people who teach, their school teachers, or people who are on the phone all day, you're using your voice, you know, and you should also be warming up as well because you're using your voice, okay? Um, number nine... This is really interesting. I just learned this. Um, avoid drinking too much lemon. Too much lemon. I kind of got tripped up with this because, you know, I put, I've been putting the lemon in my water in the morning and just um, in a pitcher in a refrigerator, and I put that in there. And because of the acid in the lemon, it strips your, it's just like that, the menthol, it strips the mucus and can strip your, your vocal cords, making them much more... Aw, uh, to God be the glory. Thank you so much. Thanks for jumping on here. I appreciate it. I know I love lemon, too. Yeah, lots of lemon. So, yeah, so I would encourage you to, um, hey, Millie! <laughs> I would encourage you, like, what I did was I added honey and just did honey water. So even instead of tea, instead of hot tea, I'll just warm up a, a cup of water, and just add honey with no lemon, just to give my voice a break. It will. 
it absolutely will dry your vocal cords. So avoid eating too or drinking too much lemon. Okay? And my last tip, can you post these tips? You know what? I tell you what I will do. Millie, are you on my email list? I tell you what, if you get on my email list, I'll send them out to you guys if you're on my email list. Yep. My email list, you can find it at um, my website. Oh, praise the Lord. Yeah, as a teacher, I'm going to jump, I'm going to come back to that. Um, my, my, you can sign up for my emails uh, on my Facebook page, the LaRue Live Facebook I do not have a group. I just have a band. Do you want to do a Facebook group? Would y'all like to do that? I, I just have my emails. Um, but Angela, if you don't mind messaging me on Facebook at my LaRue Live, not LaRue Howard, let's do, okay, Madeline, let's do it. Let's do a Facebook group. Um, if you guys, if anybody is connected with me on Facebook and maybe you guys can connect together, let's do a, a Facebook group. And then, uh, and then we'll share these. We'll share these tips in there. Okay. I can't do it though. Can somebody? Let me see. Who should we nominate? And all you, vocal coach, all my vocal coaching. Yeah, absolutely. I, I'm definitely leading up to that. Um, I have one more tip though. So I need somebody to to take the helm and say, okay, I'll start the Facebook group. Because Lord knows I can't do not narrow one more thing. <laughs> Okay, let me give you this last um, tip really quick. Get a proper amount of sleep. I do mentor also. Yes, I do. Um, get a, pro a proper amount of sleep. Sleep, sleep, sleep. The only way that you, like I said earlier, you know, you can rest your vocal cords is by not talking, not letting them touch together. And when you are asleep, your full body has a time to allow your vocal cords to reach replenish and to, you know, bring back that, bring, get them back to a healthy state. Um, excuse me. So just like your brain needs time to rest, it needs time to shut down and not think, what about snoring? Yeah, you know what, I'm going to look into that because I'm sure that has a lot to do with the vocal cords and has um, an effect on that. So I'll look, I'll definitely look into that. Um, you can post it in our Facebook group once we get our group started. Hey! <laughs> Um, but yeah, getting a proper amount of sleep, uh, helps to get your, replenish the health back to your vocal cords. And I think that's all that I have as far as my health tips. There's so many more, but those are the ones that I, um, that I posted for now, that I wrote down for now. Breathe right strips help, someone said. That's, that's cool. Yeah. All right. Well, do you guys have any other questions? Otherwise, I'm going to hop off of here. And um, I'll type up these notes when I get home. Singing while teaching. But, oh, yes. Thank you. Um, call me Faith. Okay, Millie, I will. Um, so when I was, uh, when I first started teaching a long time ago, because I was an elementary school music teacher and a middle school music, middle school teacher. Yeah. I, um, I had nodules. And so, and I was in the choir at the same time, was on the choir, in the choir and praise team and was a school teacher and developed nodules. And I think it was more so because of the room, the room we had, there was mold in the portable where I, where my class was. And so, you know, they, my doctor prescribed me to six weeks of voice rest. Well, how do you do that? That's your job. So I just had to modify my, uh, my in my classroom by using a lapel mic. So if, if at all possible, that you can get um, a little lapel mic with a speaker that you can place in the back of your classroom. That will help with the amplification of your voice. Um, and that way you don't have to speak as loud and you use the microphone and let that, you know, amplify your voice in your classroom. Um, voice rest, when you get home, if you, yeah, if you can at all, you know, shut your phone down, only talk to those at home. You know, tell your folks, hey, when I get home from 3 to 9, I'm on voice rest. If you need me, text me. I'm not answering my phone. Um, text is always great. People, they laugh at me all the time because they'll call me and I'll send it to voicemail and then I'll text and say, hey, what's up? But in, you know, in real life, I'm really like, I 
don't feel like my vocal cord is touching right now. I don't want them to touch, <laughs> you know, um, because I'm resting. So, you know, it's cool to be able to say I'm on voice rest. You know, you're a teacher. You sing. You use your vocal cords all the time. I have used that also and will try to type and write on the board. Absolutely. Absolutely. Is that Melissa? Yeah. Yep, yep, yep. Um, so, yeah, definitely um, using text and writing, you know, writing out those notes. Assign a student to be your mouthpiece in your classroom. You know, when you when you need to get a cl the class's attention, assign a student to do that for you. You know, use those kids. They Some of them, you know, those little girls, <laughs> they want to help. You know, they even some, some of them, they want to they help. So assign them different responsibilities where they are your mouthpiece. And you never know what you are developing in them. Hey, now, <laughs> you know, you never know what, what, um, what gift and dream that you're speaking into them by giving them um, an opportunity to be your mouthpiece and to be your assistant, you know, maybe for the week or for the month. So, you know, take that as well. Okay. Any other questions? Sorry, I take a minute to swallow my water because if it is a little bit cold, I'll swish it around in my mouth just a little bit to warm it up before swallowing it. Just another little tip because they gave us some water that wasn't freezing cold, but it was a little cold. And um, so just swish it around, let it warm up. When you mention caffeine, does that include tea? Yeah. Yep. It's the same. Caffeine is caffeine. Even my spark drink. By Advil Care that I absolutely love. And those, yeah. I mean, you know, again, just if you're gonna, if you're gonna have, I see that question. Um, if you're gonna have caffeine, you gotta just be doubled up with your water. Throat coat, okay, you have to know your voice. You gotta know your body. You gotta you know, you have to know what works for you. I don't prefer throat coat for me personally because it dries me. It makes me dry, makes my throat dry, my mouth dry. Um, I think it's the slippery elm that's in the ingredient, the slippery elm root that dries me out. But that's just uh, that's just me. Some people swear by it. They just think it's amazing. So, you know, but if you like it, then go for it. I, I prefer like a ginger tea um, or just, again, like we said earlier, just water. 